Happy Wednesday to everybody. Back with another Midweek Manna. We want to thank you so much for tuning in as we open up God's Word just for a few minutes to focus on the positivity of the things that are taking place because when God speaks, we listen. In Ephesians chapter 6, uh, verse 12, it says, For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. In the Greek language, the phrase, we do not wrestle, refers to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. The picture is of two Olympians covered in dirt, blood, sweat, and tears. In ancient Greek wrestling, they were allowed to gouge their opponent's eye. So often the loser's eyes were, were put out. This is a kind of spiritual fight each of us faces every day. It's a personal, up close, real, and brutal battle with the enemy. Whether we realize it or not, we are locked every day in a personal battle with the forces of darkness. As the enemy tries to get a new hold on us, we should expect him to attack us again today and tomorrow and the next day. In some weak area, he'll try to attack you. He's pushing us toward pride. He's pushing us toward doubt. He's pushing us toward anger, toward lust, toward drunkenness, or just simply away from being others censored. Paul reminds us that since our struggle is supernatural, then one would argue that our weapons must be supernatural. It is only when we stand fully clothed in the armor of God that we will be able to hold our ground against the adversary. There will be times, perhaps today, when there is so much coming at us, so much from every direction, that standing is all we can accomplish. We can't even try to take any new ground. In fact, there's nothing else we can do but to stand. But that's okay, because as we notice here in the text, all we are told to do is simply stand. 